I rode an e-bike for the first time uh, you know, a week ago, <laughs> and I loved it. So I, I, I bit the bullet. I bought uh, from Battery Hookup some of these uh, BB2590 battery packs. So these batteries are actually two batteries in one. They're, uh, there are two separate 12 volt, again air quotes, 12 volt batteries in this battery pack. And you can wire them up uh, in parallel or series. You can get 20, 24 volts out of this or uh, 12 volts out of this. I'm going to have you know, just a few inches so I can come down and around plug into things. The heat shrink. That's, that's important. I'm going to take a little bit of flux. How do I do this? Oh my god, shaky. So a fair amount went in there. I could pick the battery up with that if I needed to. So I think, I think that's how it's going to happen. You see the shape that I did? I really, I squared it off a lot for it to fit down in there. But it, it sits nice and I'm happy with it. Did that to both sides. Alright, so I, I modified this washer just slightly. I put it in the vise and hammered it down. It might actually make contact with something. But it's not going to do a, a whole lot to keep this thing from banging around. This, this, this bike is like a, a 95 Trek or something, so it's been, uh, it's been out in the wild for quite a while. Uh, so, you know, got that in there. And then I have these uh, uh, torsion bar things. All right, to build my box, my battery box, uh, I'm using this uh, corner clamp. <laughs> I think this is for, for you know, like framing, picture frames, right? But this is some old school Stanley tool, probably something that like someone's grandpa had before I got my hands on it. And it's a lot of metal there, so it dissipates heat pretty well. And I haven't welded uh, things together yet. So this helps me get things nice and square. Okay, the other thing this does is sometimes uh, after you heat it up welding, it'll uh, cool and change shape and and this will you know suck some of the heat out and hold it in shape a little bit better but you know a little box god I'm so goofy I probably shouldn't have spent so much time on this. We got the bottom piece. Oh yeah. Then we have a side piece. I chose moving forward. <laughs> yeah, that was the that was my local councilman's uh, slogan for the last uh, last campaign. See how tight it is. I'll get it in there. Ooh, yeah. So this one is actually taking a little bit of pressure to squeeze down in there. That guy there, going to that guy there. And then we got 60 volt nominal coming out here. I don't think anything has changed shape or size since I. Uh, Assembled it. Put one of these in. Then I'll stuff the wires. All right, so we're putting this in sideways, right? Zip it up a bit. Let's see if I can tuck it in there sideways. There's no fuse in it yet, so it's not going to do anything after plugging this in. Okay, here we go. First time putting the fuse in. What's going to happen? Didn't blow it. Okay, so it that was quite the spark. 
Oh, now I see why people like will use resistors and stuff. Okay. Now, how do you turn this thing on? Hold the mode for three seconds. Oh, there we go. So it is on. Wow. Let's just see if it makes any noise. Oh my God, it worked. Okay, it's doing things. I'm trying to figure out how to record this thing, so I've attached a camera here. That's going to be a wobbly, horrific image, but uh, I guess we can try. Let's see. Uh, it's recording. Let's hold the M button down. We have turned it on. We have an image. All right, let's go for it. turn that boy off oh let's get out of the backyard a bit all right give it a little throttle okay let's see if we can open it up a bit Wide open throttle. Oh, my handlebars are loose. <laughs> Alright, DIY. DIY problems. Okay. Wow. Okay. Dude. It does stuff. That's 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 a great start. Go ahead and turn it off. One thing I noticed that's very interesting. I think it has a cruise control. If you hold the bottom button down, the bottom arrow, it just starts rolling. So and, and it was set to like eight and a half miles an hour. Oh, let's see. All right, right we're, we're back. back from the test run. Kill this one. Wow. So I'm gonna turn it off. It works, dudes. I uh I think it went up to to 28 miles an hour with me. I'm 315 pounds. 315 pounds. Did you catch that? That's pretty big. Golly, that is cool. Wow. Feels a little bit squirrely and scary at those speeds. <laughs> okay, the brakes. Uh, okay. We're just going to feel things. First of all, the upper rim where the where my regular brakes are working, uh, hot as shit. <laughs> it really work in overtime. The hub... warm to the touch Let's see the the controller side with the screws on it controller warm to the touch uh, not quite burning me but close <laughs> close to burning the batteries Cool as a cucumber. Okay, so that's good news. Wow. So the controller is definitely going to be running hot. Uh, maybe that's why people mount them externally, where they can actually get air on them versus being inside this insulated bag. 
Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out for a different time, I guess. But for an initial test run, that was excellent. That's exciting. I think, uh, I think I could work with this. I probably should convert it to a disc brake. And I should probably help that controller get some air. Build a little bracket for it to mount to. Oh, goodness. Cool. We'll worry about that in the future, man. This, this was a great, a great inaugural run.